so I was intrigued um, with the fact that I do take omega-3s. Now, what happens if you take omega-3s or you need to take omega-3s and you have an allergy to fish? And omega-3s, I believe, uh, they come from cold water fish, right? So I was kind of curious about that because I do know people who are allergic to fish, and so I looked it up. And what I found out is that, yes, the professionals um, dissuade you from taking omega-3s, the fish oils. Um, they tell you not to take it if you have an allergy to shellfish or any type of fish, okay? Now, what they're saying that you should do if you have an allergy to fish and you need to take the omega-3s, it says that there's two ways that you can get your omega-3 uh, fatty acid. So you can take a vegetarian source of DHA, the omega-3 fat that's found in fish oil, okay? Or you can add flax oil to your diet. So there's three types of omega-3 fatty acids. There's DHA, EPA in fish oil, and ALA, which is alpha linoleic, lino, lino <laughs> I can't pronounce it, acid, okay? ALA, and it's found in flax seeds, walnuts, soybeans, and canola oil. Now, I don't take canola oil because it's inflammatory, so I don't use that. But you could uh, take flax seed. Um, or walnuts, which would either would be good. So there's lots of evidence to suggest that the regular intake of DHA and EPA will reduce the risk of heart attack and stroke. And think about this. I had a heart attack. And I had three strokes, or two strokes, I should say. Sorry, eight years ago, right? So, And I've been very... Um, very adamant on taking my omega-3s. And I find that it even helps with the arthritic pain and the sciatica pain that I had previous. I don't have it anymore. So these fats, they make the blood less likely to form clots and protect against the irregular heartbeats that can cause that sudden cardiac uh, arrest or death, okay? And so the Heart and Stroke Foundation urges Canadians to consume fatty fish at least twice a week. So I'm Canadian, and so that's exactly what I'm doing. But I do take um, omega-3s in the morning with a fat. So I take it with my kefir um, along with my uh, vitamin D3 and K2, right? So I take those three, three supplements with uh, kefir. But I do take it every morning. So I just thought it was kind of interesting to put it out there and to kind of, you know, give fair warning to those people who perhaps have fish allergies and uh, know that there is an alternative way for you to get the omega-3s that you need in your diet. So I shall see you on the next video. Namaste. Bye-bye.